And welcome back everybody to the Colonel Does Novus Inceptio. So today I think I want to go over some farming. I've kind of been messing around with it a bit, so I thought, uh, and I, I had to <laughs> I had to do a lot of trial and error to figure it out, and uh, I think I got it. Um, so if you've noticed in your inventory, uh, if you ever, actually I don't have any, do I? No, I don't. Sure don't. Um, if you, you know, come across chests and stuff, and you come across, like, raspberries and things, you can eat those, uh, but unfortunately you can't grow them as they are. Oh, crap. Is there a lion? Or a wolf? Why did I go into combat mode? I don't like combat mode. I know he's probably stalking me. Oh, there he is. Oh, turd. So, um, I had to kind of figure out, uh, where was I? I can't even remember what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, you, you have raspberries and blueberries and things, and you can eat those. Get out of here. Leave me alone, dude. <clears throat> um, and you can eat those, but you can't grow them as they are. You need seeds for it. So, to get the seeds, um, you can get them from chests, or you can go into kind of grassy areas like this and use your botany skill. So, we're going to just quickly do that for a few. And in this case, we got a bunch of grass and we got some corn seed. So, with the seeds, we can grow those. So, we can grow corn. Um, got some basil. So, this is another way of getting your your herbs. Um, I don't know if you can grow them, though. I haven't come across, like, parsley and basil, oregano. I haven't come across any seeds for those. Um, and actually, let me get out of this view. I don't like that view. <clears throat> uh, there we go. Potato seed. Uh, potato seed is one of the quickest growing crops, and they actually fill you up pretty good on your hunger bar. So, um, we're definitely going to pay attention to those. Uh, so we just kind of roam around, grab, oop, grab a few more, and, um, and then we'll go back to our campfire and, uh, maybe start setting up some farms. So I'll be back in a sec. Stupid, stupid wolf, where are you? Heard. Ooh, I'm a botanizer, tier two. Isn't that a, is that a Britney Spears song? <laughs> I'm a botanizer, I'm a bot... Never mind. Alrighty, so we've managed to get ourselves a bunch of seeds. We've got some blueberry, uh, cranberry, raspberry, strawberry... Uh, so all of these guys are four hour seeds. So there's different groups of seeds. So far, all I've been able to determine is that there are four different time frames. So uh, all of these seeds, uh, so these little berry seeds, these will take four hours to grow. Um, it's important to note that during the four hours, uh, so you have to basically irrigate everything. So you got to provide everything with water. The four hour ones, you're going to have to provide water twice. So, pretty much after two hours, you'll have to refill it with water if you want to get the better yield. Um, you've got garlic seeds, and I've also found cotton. Uh, cotton seeds and garlic seeds are both uh, one hour, 30 minutes to mature. You have onion and corn seeds, and both of those are 45 minute. And then the potato seed is uh, 10 minute. So the potato seed is a really quick one. Uh, so let us just show you how to basically start a farm. So you've got your uh, you've got your seeds, and I can never figure out how to switch from this mode over to the inventory without closing it and opening it, or at least closing a window and opening a window. I have to see if there's a better way to do that. But uh, in <clears throat> to plant the, the seed. Uh, you right click it and you click on plant and what it'll do is it'll give you this little uh, little box there we go so you can pretty much plant it anywhere do that right there okay so once you plant it uh, all of these are gonna be the same so you can see on the tooltip down at the bottom there it's got nine minutes so uh, all of the ten, so the the potatoes are ten minute, obviously, and um, so you've got these little things that you can do. So you can 
Let me see if I can... There we go. So you've got water, so you can water it. Uh, you can fertilize it. You can remove weeds. I haven't... I don't think this has come up yet. Uh, you can compost. And uh, I don't think repair has come up before. And obviously you can remove it. So I've done a lot of extensive research on this. Uh, for all of the different durations and it looks as though they're pretty uniform so what happens is if you water something uh, so for the 10 minute basically what you're looking at is when you water something or when you fertilize something or when you compost something just as a rule of thumb it reduces the maturity time by about 10 percent so if you have a 10 minute plant like a potato uh, it's going to re reduce uh, the duration by one minute each time you apply if you apply water it's going to reduce it by a minute if you fertilize and it's going to reduce it by a minute if you compost so we can see this if we use e and i've got a whole stack of a bunch of water here um and i've got a bunch of leaves we'll get into that in a second uh, so if we apply the water we now see that we have seven minutes instead of eight minutes left so we've just reduced that to one by one now the more that you apply, so if you apply water and you apply fertilizer and you apply compost, each time you do that, you increase the yield of what you've planted. So in the case of potatoes, if I had not applied any water, I would have got around three potatoes back if uh, at maturity. When I apply water, it seems that I get about four potatoes back fairly consistently. If you apply compost, then you get five potatoes back. If you apply just the fertilizer and no compost, uh, obviously with the water, that is. If you apply fertilizer and water, then you get back eight potatoes. <clears throat> and if you apply all three, the water, for the fertilizer, and the compost, then you get back around eight to nine potatoes. And it's similar with uh, the, the other different plants. So if you have cotton, uh, which is a one hour 30. Um, if you apply the water, then you reduce it to nine minutes. If you, uh, it, sorry, it reduces by nine minutes. <clears throat> if you apply compost, it reduces a further eight minutes. In fertilizer, it will reduce a further seven minutes and your yields will be uh, four for the water, five if you have water and compost, eight if you have um, water and fertilizer, and around nine possibly 10 if you um, do all three. So I've got a handy dandy little uh, Google spreadsheet that I'll link in the description below if you want, or actually I'll try and put some of this up on the screen here, um, make it a little easier for you to look at. Um, but uh, yeah, if you wanna go through the table, um, it, it took a long while to get some of this research done, but uh, it's very effective and it's very helpful uh, in determining, um, you know, what you can do, how much yield. Actually, when you look at the hunger, um, it actually reduces it. So when you, let me, um, all right, before, we, let me just not get too far ahead of myself here. So let us uh, do the fertilizer and compost for this. So to do that, uh, let's go to our crafting menu and we go to farming and we have compost, straw, and fertilizer. Straw is basically a building material, so I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, fertilizer requires six compost and water to make fertilizer. So if you want to fertilize, so if, let's say you're planting like five of these things, then you're gonna need 25, uh, 25 compost, I think. I think that's what I just said. You need 25 compost, one, two, three, four, five, yep. 25 compost and then an extra five water. So uh, 25 compost, you're gonna require five, six water um, to, make, uh, to make five fertilizer. So it gets expensive the more of these you plant, um, but uh, I think in some cases it's worth it, especially when you get a bunch of potatoes. Um, you know, you can just subsist on that for a long time without having to worry about, you know, finding food. And I'll actually, I'll give you a tip in a few minutes. Uh, so let's do autofill for the compost. And I want to make this 
six. So we're going to use five of these to make our um, to make our fertilizer, and then we're going to use one more because we want to use compost as well. Uh, okay, so we've got our compost and our fertilizer done, uh, a compost made. So let's autofill for a fertilizer. And obviously, to get the water, you're going to uh, you're going to basically go forage in the lake. Uh, all right, so we've got two minutes, and actually, we can reduce this to almost immediately. So let's go J. Oops, no, not H. J to compost, and then F to fertilize. And now we're down to 33 seconds. Um, I don't think the times are exact that it reduces the. Um, that reduces the time to mature. It's kind of in a range. Sometimes it can be eight to ten percent, seven to ten percent. Um, but you know, generally rule of thumb, it's uh, it's fairly consistent. So we got twelve seconds, and uh, then we can can harvest this guy. So I don't think I have any potatoes. No, I don't in my inventory. So what we should get from this. Oh, you know what? I don't have a rake. <laughs> All right. So we need to make a rake. My bad. Uh, okay. So we have uh, a bunch of iron that I've, I've made. Um, so for the rake, I highly recommend using the iron uh, because if you're doing a lot of farming, you're going to go through rakes pretty quick. And I found that the iron rake uh, is really, really durable. So let's look at the rake. We need two. Uh, we need a head, two handles, and a rope. So we can go to the head, and we need a head. And I don't think we can autofill. It's going to autofill some wood. So let's take some of this. Uh, there it is. Okay. And we need an anvil. We're near an anvil. I guess we're not close enough. All right. Try that again. Uh, rake. Head. Let's use the one that we had. Okay. So we craft a head. And we're going to need two handles, which is going to be another two ingots. Uh, let's see. This is the handle, right? Yes, handle. All right. One more. Oh, no, it failed. How did it fail? It's kind of weak. All right. One more. And then we get rope. So we need thread. Crap, man. Two of those. So yeah, I'm gonna link the the table into the um, into the description below, so you can take a look at it yourself. Um, if I find any other ones, I'll update it as I go. Um, <clears throat> some of the the seeds that you're gonna find, like the cotton, I think it is. Uh, I don't have here. Cotton is actually a really good one to have um, because you can use that to make thread from it. Uh, let's see. Previous recipe. Autofill. There we go. Uh, so you can use um, to make thread, I think. You can use cotton to make the thread. Um, <clears throat> so it, it's very, very useful in that regard because it's... it's uh, what do you call it? Not sus yeah, sustainable. There we go. <laughs> big words, big words. All right, so let's go back to. Oh, it's only a single stack there. All right, let's go back. Oh no, tools. Rake, autofill. There we go, and we're using all the metal ones. Very good. Okay, so now we have a rake. And we're going to stick that in our inventory here. And let's make that active. Okay, now we can harvest. Where'd it go? There we go. 
All right, so we have zero potatoes in our inventory. And now when we harvest it, so we have a bunch of potatoes there. Let's, there we go. We have, we, we got nine. And that's kind of what I was expecting, eight or nine. <clears throat> so we have nine potatoes now. Uh, so let's take a look at, um, and you can do this with all the edible ones. Um, it's more or less the same result. I have found though, um, okay, so for when you have food that you're going to consume, bring up your data sheet, your character data, and go to the equipment tab. And you can see here that it's got your hunger bar. And right now we're at 50.31, right? So if I consume a potato, then it is going to give me uh, pretty consistently 8.25 hunger. So we should see uh, 58.55 or 56. Five, six, or five, five, somewhere around there. So let's eat a potato. All right, so it's making me a liar. I did this a few times and it was pretty consistent at 8.25, but that's all right, 57.74. It could also be that my farming score was increasing, so the quality of the material uh, that we're getting back is, is better. So uh, keep that in mind. But you know, generally seven to eight uh, will be what you get replenished on your hunger bar when you eat a potato and you can make other stuff with the potato um, you can use that as a vegetable and something I think uh, to make your like a goulash or something like that um, with the uh, corn and the onion you get about 10 to 11 hunger points back each time you eat one of those uh, garlic you can get 9 to 10 cotton you can't eat and uh, all the berries will give you 9 to 10. So it's it's anywhere from 8 to 10, 7 to 10 um, for each food item uh, that you've got from your, from your farm. So that's kind of cool. Um, now, I mentioned a tip. So when you are making your compost and when you're making your uh, fertilizer, you need water for it. Um, and actually, when you're... When you're trying to get the materials for that uh, there's a bunch of boxwoods over here and I th it seems to be pretty consistent every time I uh, start a new map so you can just harvest the crap out of the leaves here uh, the willows are great as well uh, the birch are great as well they have leaves uh, so you can pick the leaves off of all of these guys and what is not widely known is that when you exit the game and then you load up a new game when you're going to play again so you basically starting a new session and you're loading up fresh uh, with your save all of these things are restored so you can go back to the boxwoods uh, i don't that probably will change at some point in the future but for now um you know if you want to kind of a cheaty way <laughs> of getting your leaves uh for the compost uh you can do that just kind of drain all of this stuff over here uh, and maybe the willows over there and the willows over there and then um, Or you can kind of go up the mountainside. Uh, there's lots of boxwoods up there, and I think there's a little stash of them over here by the uh, By this main structure here. So uh, lots of places where you can get a lot of leaves uh, stick them in your a2a and uh, You should be good to go uh, but when you're going in here and you're getting your uh, water so you do forage uh, maybe I need to go a little further. There we go. So we got water, right? So probably about, I don't know, 70, 80% of the time when you're getting the water, you're also going to get a trout, an uncooked trout. So if you are not trying to play the game as vegan or anything like that, um, that is, you're basically replenishing another source of food with the trout. And you can cook that on the fire. Um, in the course of kind of doing the research for this, uh, I was back and forth to the lake getting water like so many times. I had like, I don't know, 40 or 50 trout just from getting water. Um, so you're, you're actually getting more food while you're trying to farm 
so you should never really run out of food uh, just because you're trying to do the farming actions. Um, so you can grab all the water you need. Uh, you're going to need a lot of it, especially the more farms you do, uh, because you want to fertilize and compost uh, to reduce the grow time. And uh, yeah, so that's that's a good tip. Um, if you want to do a vegan diet, then what you can do is you can grow the fruits and the veggies, and um, you know you can either trade the fish if you play a multiplayer. Um, Although I don't think that's in the game yet, uh, but I think at some point you're going to be able to sell stuff, so you can sell stuff for for money and resources and whatnot. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Uh, if you're not going to use the fish, at least stockpile it, right, so that you can use it down the road. So um, that's pretty much farming. Uh, there's not much more to it. Uh, it's a little difficult trying to place them to get them lined up in a row. There's no like snap to a grid or anything. So uh, you're you're Farms are going to look kind of derpy, and you're not going to be able to get them in a straight line. Kind of like the these guys here. They're not in a straight line because <laughs> there's no grid. Um, but you can kind of make things uh, look somewhat decent. Um, so yeah. Hopefully this helps. Uh, it took me a while to figure this out. Um, but I think, uh, I think this will at least get you started. Uh, and you can figure out how to do some farming and maybe there's some other seeds that are available. I'm not sure um, But yeah, if you have any comments or suggestions, uh, you know, feel free to leave them below um, And again, I'll link the the spreadsheet in the description and you can take a poke at that and uh, So I guess until next episode, please do take care